a disgrace. It doesn't mean that it's fucking right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the latest Tap by Podcast. We're back. It's just two of us, as you can tell. Andy isn't leading the way. It's it's gotten it's gotten. I, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go, um, but we'll try and get a few laughs at it anyway. Um, I'm joined as ever by the ever present Ben Crawford. Ben, good week. Good times. It's been yeah, it's been no bad. A couple of different Scottish football results. Muller will get them through in Europe as well. I was there to watch that. Um, it was quite a good result for them, so just results like that. I mean, good for Scottish football. Um, I'm just looking forward to chatting about it even more. I've been looking forward to this, Ben. I've been <laughs> looking forward to this all day. Charles Adam. Oh, hi. Our friend, uh, Charlie Adam. Uh, he wants to we're talk about it. We're going to talk to about him anyway because he, he signed for Dundee. Mm. Um. I don't know. I, we was going to get a mention anyway, but I, I don't think we can talk about it in as positive a light as we were going to previously, given that he's came out and um, he's fine by getting COVID, Ben. Doesn't <laughs> bother fitting he healthy he's Charlie Adam. He doesn't, doesn't care. It must be nice to be so blasé. Somebody should probably <laughs> tell him that it's contagious and um, <laughs> it's not all about you, Charlie. <laughs> this obviously was linked with him being on Sports Sound last night. Um, and when being asked about, which I think is a fair debate, actually something we've touched on before, how Championship League 1 and League 2 mm-hmm. will not be getting tested um, pre and post-match. Um, mm-hmm. As we've seen, teams in the Premiership have only been tested twice a week and that will continue throughout the season. Mm-hmm. The Championship League 1 and League 2 are running a reduced season in terms of fixtures, but there'll be no testing, no mandatory testing put in place by the clubs. And that's an obvious issue. And it no. doesn't sit well with me. No. It didn't sit well with a lot of people. It sits fine with Charlie Adam. <laughs> He's uh, not the exact words. I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm fit and healthy. Um, and that, that's the issue, Ben, in it, where that whole conversation, all that came out of his mouth was, I am, I am, nah, I He's am. only worried about him. And there's no consideration... He started. He starts in this, and I'm not getting personal with, with Charlie Adam. Not they will give up shit. I mean, he plays for Liverpool and... <laughs> Um, Thank you, I, can over barely, it. <laughs> I, I can barely play my own thumbs, but <laughs> he starts that. He starts that um, sports interview. We're talking about how he loves being in Dundee and he loves being back home because he can go up to his girlfriends and I think his mums for a cup of tea mm. after training, mm-hmm. which was great. He then goes on twenty minutes later to say that he's not worried about COVID because of the implications of his him as a young and healthy player. Now, mm. I don't know if you've seen Charlie Adam recently, Ben, and um, <laughs> again, don't have too much I go, but given that how stupid he's been, he sort of brings it on himself. When I look at Charlie Adam, I don't um, two adjectives that don't immediately come to my mind are um, young and healthy. <laughs> um, it has to be totally, totally honest. Um, it's just ridiculous comments for me. Uh, I, I can't uh, explain. And not only that, not only stupid, not just naive. I'm not talking about this as, as a of footballers as a role model type thing, I think that's overplayed. But it also goes back to the BBC clipping that up and putting it in all their social medias. It's a mm-hmm. dangerous way of thinking. And Aye. that's my biggest issue with it. I don't know how you feel. I mean, it's I didn't actually think of that side yet, to be fair. Obviously, they put it out because it's a controversial comment. They need to get clicks and retweets and stuff like that. And ultimately, they've got that. You see it with the likes of talk sport and everything. They, they do it to sensationalise things and... Uh, get their own social accounts performing well, but um, ultimately, Charlie Adams made a horrendous comment there. Um, I, I, I don't understand it at all. I would, I would have just went on, and even if I did think it in my head, surely you just say, no, nah, I'll just play it safe and see what everyone's expecting me to say here. Um, it's almost like he's done it off the back of, he knows that it'll get clicks. <laughs> but I, I wouldn't have had him done as the type of player to want, that type of reaction put on him, especially with coming back home as he's putting it um, to Dundee. So it's it's a very strange one. Good signing for Dundee, nonetheless. Um, but definitely a very stupid comment to make. 
Yeah, and before we round up, that's what I wanted to say. On the pitch, it should be a good signing for um, Dundee. I think, you know, obviously with the whole marketing aspect of him coming home. You know, Charlie Adam is a player that I, I massively respect. He should have more Scotland caps than he probably does. Great career. And we all know the impact that when he was fit, Graham Dorans had in that Dundee midfield with that, you know, when, when he was a bit of a few eyebrows raised when he went down to the Championship. Mm. Charlie Adam, in theory, should be a great signing for Dundee. But then yeah. again, we've seen it many times before in Scottish football with somebody with a reputation, mm. somebody who talks a good game, somebody with a sort of a good CV has came in and it, it's not worked out. Um, so, you know, let's not assume that he's just going to walk in there and boss the championship because it's it's nowhere near as easy as that. And there's a lot mm. of good teams being assembled down there. So it's not going to be as easy as Charlie Adam, ex-Liverpool, walking in and running the show and taking Dundee to the league because, for me, Hearts are still far and away favourites. They yeah, themselves definitely. have made a good signing this week with uh, Mihail Popescu, who we remember from St Mirren. Mm-hmm. So their, their squad's come on nicely as well. But in theory, Charlie Adam on the pitch would be a good signing. Off the pitch, uh, somebody take the take the mouse away from him, man. Somebody, uh, <laughs> somebody put a sock in his mouth. Just, just, yeah, somebody put a sock in his mouth. 